Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out a game called Welcome to Goodland, uh, which I can only describe as a money laundering simulator. That's right. Anyway, uh, as ever, I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. Now, uh, the way that this game works uh, is that there is uh, there's quite a lot of dialogue in the early stages, so I've skipped through all of that, and we are now sort of jumping into the start of the action. Um, I will summarize the story very briefly. Uh, this guy, Eddie Taylor, has has been caught up in a little bit of a, a little bit of a cartel operation uh, and now he's basically said that he's going to use a charity that he runs in order to launder all of the cartel's money right we're all on the same page uh, let us go through the tasks we'll talk about the sort of bar and we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about our objective which is to launder fifty thousand dollars in cash uh, as we go right uh, Jerome's laundromat happy days um this is this is my uh, this is my character. So uh, you're going to work, excellent. And uh, what we what we can do is we can see all of these little cars uh, driving around town. Now uh, there is a little bit of a tutorial thing which we're going to go through together. There's no way to skip through it without me like completely changing the business or whatever, uh, changing the the way that the game plays. It's just going to become far too complicated, right? Um, excellent. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of story. There's a lot of story in this, but the, the sort of upshot is that we need to launder money, and I am going to explain exactly how that happens. So, uh, we have uh, a main operation, a main operational head, uh, head base right here. Click the scouting button. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah, so we've got a, we've got a headquarters here. We have got, uh, we've got a scouting operation, uh, which is what we are going to do to discover businesses. There's six undiscovered businesses in the area. We are going to use our individual to do a little bit of scouting, and they are going to go around and, uh, and scout. Now, there's a percentage chance, uh, to resolve the, to resolve the scouting, and when that happens, we find a business, happy days. Now, um, we will go through the process of building up building up an operation through either coercion or becoming friendly with somebody, uh, becoming friendly with the business, and then we will basically uh, get them to launder money for us. So very, very simply, um, we can we can bribe them. We can bribe them. We can we can decide to you know we can decide to do you know whatever whatever financial level we want to. But given that this is I guess a tutorial business, uh, we have a ninety nine percent chance of uh, I think it's curation and coercion. Uh, so or yeah, so co coerce and persuade. Um, we are going to use coercion in the first first instance um we can we can coerce and um this is not always going to be as easy as it is right now but the point is is that there's a couple of different ways uh, that we can go about getting uh, getting money out of a business uh, and depending on how good a deal we get will determine exactly how much money we're able to launder so you can see here uh, daily cash flow higher numbers mean more laundering turnover there's a base of $778 plus a fear based bonus of $117 so uh, we'll proceed with this we'll get a great deal cash flow is absolutely huge look at that so we get the base 778 we get the fear bonus Bonus, which is even larger because they're even more afraid of me than I anticipated and we also get a deal result which is a uh, which is a nice little bonus of $150 on top of that uh, now this is our agent performing performing actions will uh, will put you on a little bit of a, a little bit of a timer which is not necessarily which is not necessarily the worst thing recovering energy and the more experience that we get the more we can level up our, our characters excellent okay Jerome you are telling me that I'm a natural Excellent. Uh, you can also partner up with buildings through persuasion. Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly what we're going to go and do. We will start the process of... Uh, we'll start the process. Does it matter really which, which business I, I scout for? No, I don't think it does. Um, yeah, we'll start the process of scouting another business. And then once we have... Thank you very much. Let's do intimidation. Sure. Put another point into intimidation. We'll talk a little bit about uh, characteristics and what they're useful for in just a second. But for now, uh, let's see if we can try and discover this second business and we will try to try to persuade them via coercion. We'll start off with the bribe. We will try and persuade them. And um, yeah, we'll talk about these stats in a little bit as well. But very, very, very much like uh, the last time we did this, boom, very, very happy. Uh, we can continue to... 
to uh, to deal with businesses in any way that we feel uh, fit, which is which is great. All that's left for today is to collect the laundering money. Uh, laundering money is collected uh, very, very, very simply, uh, which I cannot demonstrate quite yet, but I will be able to demonstrate very, very soon. Uh, this, yeah, so as soon as this bar gets to the end, that is a signal that the laundering has completed. Clean money needs to be collected manually, and I need to send an agent out to go and do that. However, I can automate that process, and we can automate it by sending an agent round to all of the different areas. An agent can collect from five businesses at once, and they will do... Uh, and they will do they will do a collection of all of the businesses. So first of all, Eddie is going to drive over here. He's going to pick up forty bucks, which is hardly anything, but that's fine. If there were other businesses on that uh, on that route, then then Eddie would also pick up uh, additional money. Now, every time I collect laundered cash, I I get a little bit of. I get a little bit of personal money, personal spending money, and then I also get uh, laundered cash towards my objective, which is to launder $50,000 in seven days. Okay, tomorrow you're on your own. If you ever want to talk about it, I'm around. Cool. That is that is great. So end of day one, which is the tutorial day. Now we're gonna get now we're gonna get into the swing of things. Uh, personal funds have increased by seven hundred and forty-eight dollars. Nice. Two businesses gained. Obviously the two businesses that we've just discovered, and we still have a whole bunch of money to uh, to launder. Now again, uh, the story is if you're interested in the story, I would thoroughly encourage you to just download the demo right now. Um, but again. Uh, it's, it's a lot of story. I mean, if I read it all out, we would be here all freaking day, and we've got seven days worth of content to get through. We got a lot of money laundering to do. Right. Uh, okay, anyway, here's the thing. Uh, I can't launder all this money alone. We're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to do some, uh, some talent acquisition, so to speak. Uh, Ralph Green is gonna be our, is gonna be our, uh, our second operative, which is marvelous, marvelous, marvelous news. Uh, we shall pause for a mere moment. Learn more about money laundering from Jerome. I don't particularly want to do that, um, but I guess I will. I guess I will have to. But the point is, what I would like to do is, I would like to set up a scouting operation. Yeah, I, uh, I don't, I don't think I care about the specific type of scouting operation. And look, just give me, just give me scouting. Randomly confirm, excellent, and then I will get Ralph to... Oh, Ralph's not actually available yet. Ralph is doing something else. Whatever the case, we're going to continue to scout. It's very, very important that we scout. Very, very important that we scout. Oh, Ralph is actually available. Okay, uh, so here's the thing. Each and every business has got a whole bunch of modifiers that are attached to it. Um, let's chat about those briefly right now. So we've got the laundering speed, which is determined by loyalty. Um, and I should say that, okay, first of all, there's a type of business. There's the amount of money that it launders. We've already talked about the way that that component is broken down. We've got the the laundering efficiency, which is determined by loyalty, staff, a whole bunch of other factors, which we, again, we'll talk about soon. And then there's these six components. So the laundering speed, which is based on loyalty. We've got the dirty cash, which is how much money the business has that is available to launder. We've got the loyalty. Again, we talked about uh, we talked about that. Probability of arrest. We've got funds, as in clean cash, on uh, the premises. And then we've also got fear. Uh, and fear feeds into uh, an additional cash flow bonus, which is kind of nice. So the higher the fear, the more cash flow we get. Uh, but also, if we have too much fear, then that can lead to a decrease in efficiency. It's actually quite complicated in a in a quite a cool way. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Can we get Jerome to do scouting? No. And I tell you why we can't get Jerome to do scouting is because uh, Eddie is our scout. Um, we've also got the ability to uh, yeah. We'll talk about the uh, the abilities here. The ability to instill fear. It's just that simple. Uh, ability to sweet talk, um, ability to lead, manage, and direct others, and then also strength. The aptitude for physical confrontations, of which there will be a few. You're a gambler, plus one in uh, dice rolls. So when signing on to deals, when signing on to deals, it's probably going to be a great idea um, for us to do that. I cannot send you into the tutorial yet. Uh, or I can't send you in quite yet because I think we are still technically in the tutorial. However, if I send if I send my main character Eddie, you look like hell. It's been a rough few days. Okay. Okay, well that business was an abject failure. Um let's send let's send uh, Eddie over to Jerome. I think this is the opportunity that we get to deny the tutorial. 
I should visit Jerome to learn more about how money laundering works. Um, I do not think I want to do the tutorial quest line because I think I've got it under control. So that is kind of great. Right. Okay. Um, let's take let's take stock of exactly where we are. So now we can do now we can do whatever we want. We can take out loans as well. I'm not particularly interested in doing that. Um, I do need to get I do need to get on on the whole. Uh, we want to try and partner with more businesses, which is what we're going to try and do. We want to try and increase the efficiency of businesses, and we want to try and increase the daily cash flow. It's just that simple. So let's try and do that. Uh, we also want to try and increase uh, loyalty as well, if at all possible. So. Uh, we're gonna set up a scouting operation, but you're resting for now. Uh, what about sending... What about sending... We can't send you to Intimidate, apparently. Okay, well... We can send you to Curate. Uh, we can do that. Negative loyalty, negative fear. Um, we can do that. I don't know why this is the case, but staff... Um, staff bonus is a component of efficiency. If we send... If we send Ralph round, um, we can change the laundering settings. Again, I don't know why this isn't set as, as you know, high at, at the start. Um, it may detract from the amount that we're able to launder, but it's very, very important that we have... Um, it's very, very important that we have the staff on side. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you exactly why is because it's going to increase efficiency because currently we're getting a minus 34% penalty from having staff not on our side. You're still resting. We can't... Oh, we can scout now. Excellent. I guess we've just got enough energy to do that. Um, let's continue to scout. Let's continue to scout. Uh, Ralph is going to continue to do... Ooh, cafe plus 27% efficiency. So that's very, very handy. I'll tell you why that's handy. Is because we have hit the magic number. Uh, business efficiency is now at 80%, which quite apart from the fact that it's going to mean more money for us, which is great, uh, we can actually also increase the business level. And if we do this, um, we'll do it. Max dirty cash plus 500, daily laundering plus 200. Uh, it's going to cost us a little bit of investment to make it happen. But that is, as far as I'm concerned, absolutely worth doing. Very, very nice indeed. Um, we've just found a brand new business, which is great. Uh, should we try and partner up? Let's try and partner up. Let's do it. Sure. Let's seal the deal. Uh, what do we want to try? Let's try intimidation. Sure. Try intimidation. Let's try and coerce. Um, we could accept we could accept the base offer. I'm not particularly interested in doing that. Um, there is always the risk that we get a not great deal. It's it's always a chance. Like we just got to risk it, but you know, we just got a double one. I mean, what can what can what can you do about that? Uh, it kind of sucks, but we can we can change it around a little bit. I think that's actually an enforced decision for the sake of um, you know, for the sake of story. Uh, you want to launder money through my business? Yeah, to be fair, you're you're not wrong. I kind of do want to launder money through your business, so you know. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. The cafe is now upgraded. Marvelous. Okay, uh, so let's have a little look at exactly what's going on underneath all of these businesses. Laundering speed is inefficient. Send a gift to raise loyalty. Yeah, so we can do that. We can also, um, I would say, we can also increase the staff level, which is very, very important. Uh, that would be great. It's going to increase fear. Uh, it's going to increase efficiency. Let's go and set that up. Brilliant. How are we doing? So, yeah, so we can do the same for, we can do the same for equipment. I really have no idea. I really have no idea what staff actually impacts, but whatever the case, setting it to maximum is great. Um, I would also really like to, I would also really, really like to get low on dirty cash. See, this is a problem. Um, we need to set up, we need to set up automation of, uh, of this. Right, once once these guys, both of them are finished with whatever they're doing, uh, we're going to send uh, send around uh, a car. I tell you what, we are very, very low on cash as well. Right, also, I think I need to upgrade you. Let's go for uh, Intimidation, sure. That sounds like a good plan to me. Yeah, we're getting a lot of laundering done here. 46% efficiency, staff are in a bit of a better place. Let's set up a delivery. Let's set up automated delivery of dirty cash. Thanks to you and Fresh Start, your charity really helped me get back on my feet. About that. I'm here with a proposal. Maybe we could work together. But no, you said so. To have a fresh start, I have to do this for myself. No offense, but I won't. 
Oh, that's a shame. Well, um, we tried to discover that new business, and uh, they weren't interested. Turns out my charity was too effective at actually helping people get a fresh start, which is kind of the opposite of what I wanted to do. Anyway, right, what do we gotta, what do we gotta do now? We still wanna scout. I'm still gonna randomly scout. There's still three undiscovered businesses. Let's set you up to scout, that's marvelous. Uh, what have we got? Uh, raising efficiency, raising efficiency. I could really do with, actually I could do with collecting some cash. Why don't we do a automatic collection in the first instance? Uh, just so that we can get a little bit of money. Just so that we can get a little bit of money in the bank. There we go. How much? 33 bucks? That's nothing. Lots there. 160 bucks. I mean... 330? I mean, it's nothing to write home about. It's not like we're laundering a tremendous amount, but... It's okay, I guess. It's okay. Right, increase fear to, to raise efficiency. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that kind of shortly. Can I do it now? Let's see if we can try and... Oh, minus 25% equipment. Let's do... Let's do that over there. Sure. Go and curate. Go and curate that. Happy days. Still, we need to discover more businesses. Eddie Taylor really, 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 really needs to discover some more businesses. Right. We also got some new traits that I probably should have looked at. Um, what was it? Fatigue. Reduces the energy recovery rate by 30%. Okay. Well-fed maximum energy plus 30%. That's great. That's wonderful. Happy days. And we discovered a brand new cinema. And it looks like it could probably pretty decently... Probably pretty decently have uh, a good result. We need 440... 440 bucks... Um, to bribe. But I guess... I guess we're not quite there yet. Anyway, let's finish up with curation here. Laundering speed is inefficient. We need to send, uh, send loyalty. What are we at? We're at 70%. We're at 70% efficiency. Equipment is at plus 40%. That's great. Okay, that's that's looking that's looking good. If we get if we get an extra 10% loyalty there, we are gonna be we are gonna be sitting pretty. Can I maybe get an upgrade? I maybe could get an upgrade. That would be that'd be kind of good. You are very, very, very low on the old loyalty there. Uh I mean I can't intimidate. I can send you a gift. I mean I can't send you much of a gift. Sure, I'll send you a gift there. And then we'll go and intimidate over here. And that will be two of our businesses taken care of. At least partially, which is kind of nice. Uh, cafe efficiency plus 10%. That's good. That's very, very good, in fact. Let's, let's see if we can try and increase the loyalty here. If we can try and increase the loyalty there, that would be great. I'm really pursuing this upgrade over here. Uh, let's also do a bit of cash delivery if I need it. I don't need to do cash delivery. I should do cash collection. Do cash collection, sure. Do cash collection for now. No reason not to, right? Like we're gonna get we're gonna get a whole bunch of extra cash. It's not gonna be not gonna be that much, but hey ho. Also, I think that business, yeah, that business, um, that business disappeared. So I actually need a little bit more money. I need a little bit more money before engaging with the business in the first place. Very important. We can take out a loan, uh, but you know, the people that we're going to be taking out a loan from are kind of going to be like mobsters. So I'm not exactly over the moon about having to do that, but <laughs> I guess if we have to, then we kind of have to. Please discover a business. Please discover a business. Please discover a business. Anytime. Anytime, pal. Any freaking time. Probability of finding a business? Okay. Fine. Whatever. What do you want? I'm here to discuss an opportunity. Oh my god. Another failure. Okay. Well, this is like objectly awful, actually. Like really, really awful. Okay. Can we get uh, staff rate plus 20? Staff rate plus 20%. I mean. Okay, send a gift. Do I want to send a gift to, to raise raise loyalty? I mean, we really can't afford it. Well, it's evening time, so we're just about to... Oh, and Eddie's got fatigue. Forgot about that. Man, I tell you what. Pretty unfortunate that we, uh, that we didn't manage to get... Let's go collect cash. Sure. Go and collect cash. 
There we go. 104. That's pretty good. We're still trying to partner up with a brand new business. God. Uh, we don't have any influence points. Yeah, we're not, we're not able to. We're just not able to do it. Right. Come on. Third time's a charm. Fourth time's a charm. Whatever it is. Fifth time's a charm. There's a 7% probability of finding a business. A 12% probability of finding a business. The day ended. Are you freaking kidding me? Right, well, we laundered a, you know, three grand today, which is not bad. Um, not bad at all. Okay. Right, again, lots more exposition, but none of it is particularly... None of it is particularly good. I mean, it's all pretty negative. Um, I'm not giving you any money. You're not getting any money. Playing with the cartel money is a dangerous game. I could use our savings. Kate and I, that's his wife, have been pretty reasonable. We have enough. Maybe enough to pay off the businesses that rejected me yesterday. New task was added. Visit the marked location. Let's go and let's go and do that. Right, okay. Today is the day. Let's see if we can try and get. Let's see if we can try and get this. I think. I think, by the way, that because the cafe is so high. Can we get a can we get a cafe level two? Can we get a cafe level two? I don't need you need uh, you need more dirty cash. Let's set let's set you to go and deliver uh, dirty cash in the first instance. We'll see what's going on over here as well. Uh, the bank clerk is looking at me strangely. Maybe there's a problem with my account. There's insufficient funds for this size of withdrawal. There has to be some mistake. Your wife signed off several withdrawals. If you'd like, I could call her. Okay, so I don't believe that Kate, his wife, um. It's her business. Yeah, um, I don't believe that uh, Kate knows about this little situation that is ongoing. Which is kind of understandable. Uh, because it is uh, dodgy AF. Very, very dodgy indeed. Right, let's set, up a, let's set up a quick little collection round. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then hopefully that's going to give me enough money to discover this business. I really am very, very badly hampered by the fact that our business uh, doesn't, or we don't seem to be collecting much money at all. I think I'm going to have to take out a loan here. Now, this feels desperate. This feels really, really desperate. Finally. Oh, great news. Great news. Okay, can I get... I need 340 bucks. You kidding me? 200. We're going to take out a loan. It's just that simple. Right. So, the bribe happens. And let's let's engage. Uh, let's coerce. We, we cannot afford to not coerce here. Give me a good deal. Thank God it's a good deal. Thank God it's a good deal. Oh, that's great news. That is great news. Okay. Uh, we got that mission. We got that mission completed. We need to upgrade any business. Uh, do I have the capability to do that right now? I may or may not. Uh, could we upgrade this one again? For 300 bucks? I mean, that's gonna be... It's gonna be... It's gonna be tough to do. How how much do we need? We need an additional loyalty? I mean, I could intimidate. Let's go and intimidate. Let's go and intimidate this business. Let's go and intimidate this business. And see if that makes a difference. Excellent. It's definitely gonna give us a little bit more money, whether or not it's, it's worthwhile. Uh, loyalty is super low over here. Let's see if we can try and raise it a little bit. There we go. Go and do that. Okay. But the good news is, is that at least cash flow wise, we are in a better place. We're in a much better place. Let's also see if we can try and get... There we go. These points. Collects 5% more personal and net money. That is great. That is super, super handy to have. Let's see if you get a trade as well. And you're a scout now, too. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, apart from the fact that we don't have any money to scout with. But you get the picture. That's great. Anyway, uh, I think the way that our that our staff thingies... Um, yeah, I think the way that our staff policies work... I think we may be able to change things around a little bit. But, yeah, so we can curate up to here. Let's go and... Go and do that. Let's see. Let's see what modifier that gives. So currently we're at negative 34%. Uh, we may very well change things up. Right. A few more, few more bits and bobs. That's fine. We can scout. I don't particularly 
want to do this, but I think I'm going to. I'm going to take out a further loan, which is a terrible idea just in general, but that's okay. We still need to discover businesses. We still need to bribe them. We still need to work on, we still need to work on their loyalty. Very, very important. We still need to achieve that upgrade any business modifier as well. Right. Cafe efficiency is plus 20%. Loyalty is still very, very low. That's actually very, very fixable though. That's very, very fixable. If we give you like, I don't know, say 300 bucks. We give you 300 bucks. I think that's going to be able to get us over the line here. There we go. 81% efficiency. Let's get you upgraded. As soon as one of these, uh, one of these peeps is free, we'll get, we'll get you assigned to the upgrade. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. That's fantastic. That's going to allow us to fulfill that mission objective. It's also obviously going to give us the capability to launder way more cash. Um, Eddie, you're going to do... Ah, that's unfortunate. That's fine. Keep keep scouting. Keep scouting. No rush whatsoever. Uh, you are going to do a quick little round. Collect, deliver cash. Uh, yeah, let's do a delivery round and then we'll do a collection round. Yeah, I think that makes I think that makes perfect sense. Hopefully, we don't run out of money in the meantime. We might, if that's the case. I don't particularly want to do that. Please find a business. Oh, thank goodness we found a business. Beautiful. Okay, let's do... No, collect. Oh, we can't. We need to We need to wait for you to recharge up. We need 420 bucks. Uh, right. Well, we're going to get even further into debt. That's not exactly fantastic. Right, can I... Ooh, you need to... Oh, both these people need to rest up. Okay, well, you're going to exist for another 20 seconds. Can I... Oh, please don't go away. Please don't disappear. Please don't disappear. You're definitely going to disappear, aren't you? Oh, botheration. Oh, no, 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 we can totally do this. We can totally do this. Okay, let's go and, let's go and do the bribe. Let's go and do it. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Another another cinema. There's apparently about a billion cinemas in this in this tiny little <laughs> this tiny little town. Hey, a good deal. Excellent. Okay, that's great news. Uh, the cafe being upgraded is fantastic. That is wonderful. Uh, we sh still need to do a collection round. I'm gonna go and do that. I'm gonna get you to go and do the collection round as well, uh, because you are great. And also, hopefully, it's gonna allow me to pay off. All of my debts, ideally, collect the cash before someone else does it. Yeah, don't worry, I'm on it. Don't you worry, I'm on it. New task was added, cinema. Ooh, send an agent on the task. Sure, let's go and do that. I don't know what you need to go and do, but I'm happy to go and do it. Right. Uh, the business owner brings a problem to you. The rent to the place just went up and he can't meet the price. Whilst reporting, the owner makes it clear the situation is your responsibility. There would not be a problem if the business didn't have to cut their profits for laundering your money. The business owner believes it'd only be natural. I'm not doing that. Are you kidding me? You know, I'm sorry, buddy. Low loyalty? I really don't care. Send a gift to increase the, the loyalty? Yeah, I really do need to do that. Um, the owner wasn't convinced but decided not to argue. However, there's now a strain on your relationship. You know what? Here you go, buddy. Take a, take a little... Take a little, uh, a little bung there. Uh, let's do payback. Let's see if we can try and pay back, like, actually, like, none of it. I don't really want to do any of it. What have you got here? Let's continue to just become, like, highly leveled in intimidation. I think that's a great idea. Uh, we need to upgrade three businesses or, indeed, curate one of them. Let's try and curate you. We'll go staff up there and let's go confirm. Good. How close are you to being leveled up? Minus 27% loyalty. Uh, send a gift. 200 bucks. 200 bucks once we have the person. Once we have the person, we'll, we'll do it. There we go. We're back on the laundering game. Fantastic. Whew. Okay. It was close. Right. So the curation is happening. That's great news. We're happy with that. Uh, we are good in terms of money, basically all round. Let's go and send a gift over here. I mean, I love the idea of intimidating. I love the idea of intimidating, um, honestly at all, because 
It's really great. Let's go with 300 bucks. I'm really interested in getting this business leveled up. So, you know, I'm inclined to... I'm inclined to spend a little bit on the loyalty just to get it just to get it up there. Fear is a little bit on the low side, but that's okay. We can we can deal with that in about three seconds. There we go. Let's go intimidate. There we go. No travel time at all. Fantastic. What are we up to? 63%? That is that is not too bad. Equipment is still too low. How's loyalty? Do we want to bump the loyalty on this business? Kind of do, you know? Let's spend let's spend money to make money. I would like a really, really loyal business. Especially for the cafe, which is like one of the most... One of the biggest... The biggest, uh, the biggest monies for us. 74% efficiency. Uh, just a little bit off the loyalty, really. If we get a little bit more loyalty, then we would be in a great position. Um, let's do cash collection. Let's do cash collection with the guy that does the best cash collection. Let's do cash delivery from the guy that we don't particularly care about doing the cash delivery. Uh, you are a little bit low on the old fear. So let's try and address that. There we go. Wonderful. This is looking, this is looking good. This is looking good. Everybody is stocked up with cash. You love to see it. Right, let's go and intimidate. We'll send... Uh, you don't have the energy yet. That's a shame. Uh, yeah, no energy, no energy on that dude. Um, we're we're closing in on the old uh, the old 10k actually. That's really really nice. Okay, on my way home, I couldn't stop thinking about what happened at the bank today. Why would my wife withdraw our money without telling me? How was your day? Like every other day, I guess. Nothing special. I decided not to ask her if she's keeping secrets. It's not my place to pry. After all, she's not the only one. Look at that. Look at that. Almost 5,000 bucks laundered today. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, apart from the fact... I'm already here, sir. Uh, what's up? It's a pledge, sir. It came in last night. We're a charity. Pledges are good. It's anonymous. Something feels off about it. I was taken aback. Sudden good news is really good news. Who knows about this? No one but you and me. I'll look into it. And Mary, maybe don't tell anyone about this. I'm Until I figure out where the money's from, I mean... So, uh, we get an objective, uh, and the objective is the dirty donation. That a strange donation was pledged to Fresh Start. What should I do with it? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I'm gonna take it all. I'm gonna take the cash. Uh, look, this is, this is desperate times. This is des desperate times require, you know, desperate, desperate measures or something. Uh, let's... I mean, we could just, like, make this... Make all of our problems go away. We really could. Let's get you curated in the first instance, eh? Sure. Let's go and let's go and curate you. Let's try and get these businesses uh, upgraded. I would really, really like that. I would really like that. Let's let's go. Let's go all out. Let's go all, all, all out. Beautiful. Okay. A little bit of loyalty goes a long way, as they say. That is looking good. We still have, uh, we still have mob money that we could really, like, we could, <laughs> we still have mob money that we could, we could and we probably should get rid of. 73%. Can I not curate staff beyond this point? I don't think I can. Um, I think maybe the reason that I can't do that is because, hold on, I've got a cinema here. What if I set it to that level? Let's try that. Okay, let's also send a gift. There we go. Uh, we'll do a little bit of intimidation, but we'll do a little bit of intimidation in a little second. I'm spending a lot of cash, but that's okay. If people like me, then people like me. I also should note that we've got one undiscovered business, which it would be really, really great if we could actually scout. There we go. Uh, I mean, do I care about if it's, a, if it's a cafe or a cinema or indeed anything else? I don't particularly care. Right. We'll do the scouting thing. Finally, we'll get that out of the way. We'll go and intimidate... We'll go and intimidate this, uh, this business as soon as we possibly can. Yeah, I think what we need to do... Ooh, a task. What's going on here? Yeah, I think what we need to do is we if we curate this cafe downwards here... 
we curate that down to like there, then we sh Oh. Your business is about to be attacked. Send an agent to go and protect it. Uh, we don't have an agent to go and do that, unfortunately. Because you're resting at the moment. But you know what? We'll go and give it a shot nonetheless. Right. We're sitting we're sitting pretty. We're ready. I have no idea what this dude what this dude's car is, but it's a it's a blank souped up souped up car. What's going on? Attack on the business. Business is robbed. Man, I'm rolling these ones. I think this is artificial, by the way. I don't think that's real. We want the money you've been laundering here. The money or die. Fine, fine. And just like that, they were gone. Ralph. Hey, Eddie, I got a little problem. What is it? I just got mugged. Are you okay? I am. But the money they took. They were the cartel's money. Where are you now? In front of the police station. What are you out of your mind? What are you doing there? The damn cop happened to be nearby when I got mugged. They chased the guy away. But... He took me to the police station to report the crime. Sorry, Eddie, there's nothing I can do. I'll be there as soon as I can. First somebody targets my business and then Ralph gets mugged. Honestly, what is going on? It's not a it's not a coinky dink. It it isn't a coinky dink at all. Anyway, Ralph is out of the game uh for at least a little while, uh, which is cool. Uh right, I think we're gonna wrap this up right about here, uh, ladies and gents. However, I think it's probably it's probably given you uh, I, I hope uh, a bit of an understanding about this game and what more it has to offer. Really, quite quite unique, actually. Um, a lovely little a lovely little management game. Um, I love laundering money. What can I say? Uh, this is excellent. It looks really really good. It feels quite fresh, uh, and I you know I'm looking forward to seeing. Look at this injured extortionist. I look I look forward to seeing all the perks and uh and how things how things are when it comes out fully i mean we've just discovered like one block of the city but there's this whole this whole lovely area that we've got to explore um and yeah we'll see what happens when this game uh comes out later in the year at some point but anyway ladies and gentlemen we're gonna wrap this one up right about now thank you ever so much for watching my name of course has been open to potato check out the patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible but for now and for me i'll see you next time bye